Hello everyone. This is the second video relevant to topical MCQs A2 level economics and the topic I'm going to explain you now is economic efficiency and it is really important topic in for long questions you might have attempted it in paper 4 and in paper 3 MCQs uh, I'm going to discuss some important MCQs relevant to economic efficiency so that that you can easily solve them and I also suggest all of you to try to get this book from the market this is easily available all over Pakistan and it is also available on Amazon as well so this book contains a lot of practice lot of, a lot of MCQs and each MCQ has been explained and topically arranged as well okay starting with question number one which condition defines productive efficiency and productive efficiency is the part of overall economic efficiency economic efficiency is divided into two parts one is productive efficiency and the other one is allocative efficiency productive efficiency is achieved when we are producing along the PPC curve or the second condition is uh, the output of all goods is produced at minimum cost while average cost is minimized then we are productively efficient so it is this question is really simple and it is based on the definition of productive efficiency so you can pick option C that all goods are produced at minimum cost or when when we talk about all goods mean average cost of production so average cost will be minimized and the question number two is when is allocative efficiency achieved in an economy and there are two conditions for uh, allocative efficiency when one is or two definitions of allocative efficiency one is when marginal social cost is equal to marginal social benefit and when nobody can become better off without making someone else worse off and uh, the condition another condition for allocative efficiency is marginal cost is equal to average deficit. so option a is correct answer when nobody can become better off without somebody else becoming worse off okay question number 13 read the question carefully stop the video and try to find out answer afterwards you can see what is the correct answer so in the diagram the firm is operating at point x on its longer than average cost curve okay so x is this point this is the point x where average cost will be this and output will be this much which statement about the firm is correct it is operating at its optimum level of output it is not operating at optimum because optimum will be achieved at point this where output must be this much q1 and average cost must be this much c so option a is not correct it is operating below its cost minimizing level of output is we can discuss this option at then it is productively inefficient it is not productively inefficient rather it is productively efficient because for being productively inefficient for this much quantity of output average cost must be above point x so if the firm is x inefficient or productively inefficient then average cost for a given output must be above this given average cost curve so point x is productively efficient point however if output q average cost for output q is above this point point x then it will be x inefficient and option d is it could produce its current level of output at lower cost it cannot produce this much output at cost lower than c so this is not correct answer so option b is correct answer it is operating below its cost minimizing level of output so cost minimizing level of output is this much and firm since firm is producing at point x question says it is producing at point x it means k its average cost sh could have been decreased if output was produced at uh, q1 so it is producing below optimum level of output or below the cost minimizing level of output in the diagram lm is an economy's production possibility curve this is lm this curve is lm and which statement is correct option a says a is attainable a is outside the bpc it means k boundary of resources is this much we cannot go beyond this boundary so this is uh, incorrect answer 
एफ इज इकोनॉमिकली एफिशेंट एफ इज बिलो पी पी सी मीन्स वी आर नॉट इकोनॉमिकली एफिश वी आर इन्वॉल्व इन अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑफ रिसोर्स एंड वैन वी आर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रिसोर्स हाउ वी कैन बी इकोनॉमिकली एफिशेंट जी मे बी इकोनॉमिकली एफिशेंट बट नॉट प्रोडक्टिवली एफिशेंट पॉइंट जी इज अलॉन्ग द पी पी सी एनी पॉइंट अलॉन्ग द गिवन पी पी सी इज प्रोडक्टिवली एफिशेंट सो जी सेंस इट इज सेंग दैट जी इज नॉट प्रोडक्टिवली एफिशेंट सो दिस ऑप्शन इज ऑल्सो इन करेक्ट सो द रिमेनिंग ऑप्शन इज डी एच इज प्रोडक्टिवली एफिशेंट सो वी आर प्रोडक्टिवली एफिशेंट वेन एवर वी प्रोड्यूस एनी वेयर अलॉन्ग द पी पी सी एंड मे नॉट बी इकोनॉमिकली एफिशेंट मीन्स ओवरऑल इकोनॉमिक एफिशेंसी डिपेंड्स अपॉन प्रोडक्टिव एंड एलोकेटिव एफिशेंसी we are productively efficient here but we might not be allocatively efficient at this point if we are not allocatively efficient at this point it means we may say k but may not be economically efficient so option d is correct answer the next video will be relevant to utility theory